Dawn Compton, the pastor at Main Street United Methodist Church, and I'm here today to bring you our weekly Wednesday Word. Uh, we are in the last few days of Lent, the last few steps in our journey, making our way towards Easter. Uh, I just finished uh, going to uh, the last Lenten lunch that Main Street was hosting uh, had some wonderful food at all of the, the Lenten lunches and the devotion this week was very powerful. It was a journey uh, with the, the thief that was crucified alongside Jesus. It was a very powerful story. I hope you found ways this Lent to uh, reflect um, on the Lenten story, on Jesus' journey and making his way towards Easter that you found a way to reflect on uh, your relationship with Jesus, that you've been, done some introspection of, of who you are, of whose you are, and how you can uh, most effectively live out the life that God is calling you to live and be the servant that God needs you to be to do God's good work here in his kingdom. Um, it's been a, a busy Lent here at Main Street, but it's been a good Lent, and I um, have so appreciated every aspect that this congregation has offered to one another and to the community to try and help us in this Lenten journey. We have been looking at our worship series, Drink from the Fountain of Grace, and we have realized that through it all, there are so many different ways that we can truly experience God's grace and we definitely experience it when we focus and we remember that grace offered up on the cross on Good Friday. This week as we um, finish uh, our Lenten journey I hope you will take some time to really to think about uh, this journey to read some of that scripture about Jesus uh, trip into Jerusalem and what happened and all that he went through this week. All of the emotions and the feelings and the, the pain and the anguish that he went through for you. And that we don't just move straight from the celebration and the parade of palms on Palm Sunday and get to the, the wonder and the, the celebration of Easter. I don't want us to skip over the somberness and the, the seriousness, the, the pain of what happened this week. Because that just makes the, the miracle of Easter that much more powerful for us. Part of what we're doing this week is we're having a Monday Thursday service. Uh, that's tomorrow. At 7 p.m. it will be a communion service as we are celebrating the Last Supper that Jesus had with his disciples on Good Friday we are going to be blessed by our choir as well as some instruments uh, people playing some wonderful instruments to bring us a, a Good Friday cantata in, entitled Love Divine and we'll be looking at the story of Good Friday uh, through music. Uh, that service is also at 7 p.m. So I hope that you will find time to make that a, a priority to come and, and worship with that musical selection on Good Friday. And then we will be ready. We'll be ready, friends, for Easter. Our worship service will be at 1030 in person. If you are needing to we will still offer it online we'll also offer both the monday thursday and the good friday services online but if you are able to you will want to be with us in person for easter because immediately after the service and something you won't be able to experience online we are going to be releasing once again some painted lady butterflies we'll release them out here in the courtyard as a reminder and as a symbol of the new life we have in Jesus Christ. So it um, promises to be a wonderful, uh, wonderful, joyous celebration on Easter Sunday. Friends, I hope you have a, a great 
uh, end of Lent these last few days. And I so look forward to worshiping with you on Sunday as we celebrate the, the mystery and the wonder and the miracle of Easter. God bless.